Job shadowing is available for Jeff High students. Good morning, it's Friday, September 29th. I'm Sarah Reed and you're watching the JHS Report. There are a lot of students at Jeff High that look like famous people. Good morning, I'm Sean Tyson. Believe it or not, there are students at Jeff High that look like celebrities. Crystal Martin has the story. We see them on TV, in movies, on magazine covers, but who are these people? Celebrities. But what you might not know is, we have a few lookalikes at Jeff High. Let's meet them. Which celebrity do people tell you you look like? Uh, Eva Mendes. Do many people tell you you look like that person? Yes. Oh, Eva Mendes. Oh, Eva Mendes. Autograph. Autograph. Uh, oh, man. What things do you think you both have? We're both cute, long hair, somewhat Latina. Some people say I look like Rihanna. Do many people tell you that? A few. What features do you think you both have? Um, we kind of got the same color eyes, the same color hair, but her forehead's bigger than mine. Would you like to meet that person sometime in your life? Yeah. Paul Wall. Do many people tell you that you like that person? <laughs> yes, I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> what similarities do you two have? Oh, I'm white and I'm sitting sideways. What similarities do you and that person have? I have no idea. I guess that's the shape of my head. And I can look at it all day, baby. All day. Would you like to meet Dwayne Wade sometime in your life? Oh, look at me. Um, my resume is Kobe. It's Kobe's bad. He's the best player. There you have it. The celebrity lookalikes of Jeff High. For the JTS Support, I'm Krista Martin. As a student at Jeff High, you are allowed to job shadow. To find out more, here's reporter Alex Geary. Have you ever wondered what you're going to be when you grow up? Well, a solid known fact about Jeff High is that each student has the privilege to designate a day to job shadowing. Hi, I'm Alex Gary, and I'm going to go behind the scenes on the answer to the question, do we really have a day for job shadowing? Are you aware that you can designate a day for job shadowing? Yes, I am. What sort of information do you think you would acquire by shadowing someone for a day? Well, I think I would uh, acquire valuable learning experience and possibly uh, change what I view as my prospective job in the future. If you could shadow an occupation of your choice, would you? Yes, I would. What sort of job would you shadow? Uh, maybe a career in teaching or architecture, but I'm still looking around. How do you go about job shadowing for a day? Um, well, there's lots of uh, ways that you can go job, do job shadowing, and basically, students find an interest, something that they, they think that they're, you know, they're interested in. Um, a lot of students have various interests, and uh, the best way is just to, you know, make a list of of, of a couple, three things that your interest, you know, have an interest in, maybe as a career, and uh, simply um, you can go online on the Jeff High website. We have different places listed in there. Um, that, that's it's kind of for volunteer work, but they also have uh, various occupations listed in there as well. Um, it may be if you know someone who may be a neighbor that is in a certain occupation or parents a workplace and they know of, of other other people involved in, in certain occupations. Um, that's a great way to get hooked up with um, becoming involved in those occupations and, and then you just call them up and say I'd like to job shadow I'm thinking about this occupation and go from there. For the JHS report I'm Alex Carey. Daniel JHS College and Career Night is coming up soon. The event will be held on Tuesday October 3rd from 6.30 to 8.30 and is open to all JHS students. Contact the counseling office for more information. Attention art club members pick up a permission slip from Mr. Struck from the Silk screen printing field trip on Saturday, October 28th. Any questions, see Mrs. Struck. Are you looking for a good time? Don't call me. Join FCCLA, the Family Career Community Leaders of America. They meet every other Tuesday right after school in room 552. See Miss Cassidy or Miss Ashby for more information. The Anchor Club initiation scheduled for this Thursday has been postponed until October 17th. Students who have the following hang tough numbers 101, 102, 301, and 173 need to see Ms. Bacon in the Dean's office. If your class, club, group, or organization has an announcement, please put it on the WJHS form located in the office and we will get it for, on the air for you. Please submit your announcement at least three days in advance. And now here's today's Did You Know question. How did the London police get the nickname Bobby's? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
you want to do I can't tell you Who to sock it to It's your thing Do what you want to do I can't tell you Who to sock it to If you want me to From short and faded to long and layered we specialize in men's hair. The Clipper on Middle Road, right next to Tubby's Pizza. Open Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Stop by and say hi to Glenn Driscoll at The Clipper. Today's JHS weather forecast. Today, sun along with patchy clouds, high near 65. Tonight, partly cloudy skies this evening, a few showers developing late, low 54. Tomorrow, variable clouds with, with thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon, high 69. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now, here's a look at JHS sports. Good morning. I'm Cameron Smith with today's JHS sports. Boys tennis sectional action last night. Jeffersonville hosted a second round match and beat Charlestown 3-2. Winners for Jeff were Sam Burke at number two singles and the doubles teams of Tyler Samuel and Jeremy Chester and Chris Button and Ryan Lewis. Jeff advances to face Providence. In cross country action in the Pekin Eastern Invitational on the boys side, Jeffersonville finishes second in the 21 team field. Finishing third overall for Jeff was Neil Masterson. Dan Coates of Jeffersonville finished fourth. On the girls' side, Jeff finished 10th out of 15 teams with 204 points. Crawford County won it with 68 points. It's the Jeff New Albany football game tonight at Blair Field. Kickoff is scheduled for 7 p.m. with the Carnival and Tailgate Party beforehand. Come out tonight and help Jeff to a victory over arch rival New Albany. Be there. The Jeff High Athletic Office is having a pre-sale on New Albany football tickets today. It costs $5. Stop by the athletic office and get your tickets early. Don't be shut out. The Lady Red Devils soccer team will be hosting the tailgate party tonight before the New Albany football game. Price is $8 a ticket. See any girl soccer player or Coach Dennis in room 114. And that's all for Just Sports. Now here's the answer to today's did you know question. How did the London police get the nickname Bobby's? The answer is, on this date in 1829, the first regular police patrol in London was begun. They were called Bobby's after Sir Robert Peel, who had initiated the re reorganization of the police force. Best news for Sarah Reed. I'm Sean Tyson. Thanks for watching the JHS Report.